Today's guilty verdict forever brands R. Kelly as a predator. It is a title that his victims say is long overdue. In the early days of the Me Too movement, many black women say that they felt like their stories were going untold. But with a conviction of one of the biggest music stars in the world, there is now a sense their voices are finally being heard. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has the story. Lizette Martinez, known to the court as Jane Doe Number no. 9, says she was just 17 when R. Kelly sexually abused her. Her reaction to the verdict? It's just a really great feeling to finally feel like we matter, we were heard. It was one of the most prominent trials of the Me Too era. Me Too International released this statement that reads in part, the verdict was, quote, monumental because black women and black children were believed. A predator preyed on them for years and got away with it because our society is quick to minimize our suffering and abuse. And also, quote, this moment belongs to the countless black women who refused to suffer in silence and the allies who didn't wait for a trial to pursue accountability and justice. Though accusations were mounting for decades, a 2019 documentary focused new light on the allegations, giving a voice to his accusers. Soon after, new state and federal charges followed. I think about the damage that he's done over the past three decades. Dream Hampton is the executive producer of Surviving R. Kelly. She spoke about the verdict on CBS Mornings. You know, I want to believe that this means that black women survivors will be heard. Um, but I don't want it to be dependent on a piece of media going viral. Young black women, when they make these allegations, should be believed. It took too long for the justice system to, you know, follow up with this. We spoke with trial attorney Lance Clark about the verdict and its impact on future cases. I think it tells powerful men that take advantage of, you know, helpless women that society as a whole, we're not going to stand for that. As for Martinez, you know, we can start to heal and start going on with our lives. R. Kelly has denied all accusations. Despite his conviction, he will be sentenced in May. In Midtown Manhattan, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. And R. Kelly still faces other charges in Illinois and Minnesota.